out of every mode of transportation that I own, the one that I'm down to is probably the scooter right here. And I don't even think it's charged. Whoops. We just finished putting the kitchen table that I built inside, link to that video probably right down here somewhere. And it's good timing because my Jeep just decided to start making horrible noises. Legitimately cleaning up from building the table so I can get the Jeep in here and start taking that apart. The Jeep was making a horrible loud screeching noise. So to figure out what that was, we had to do a little exploratory surgery. I pulled off the air intake, left the box, but the hose that goes to the throttle body, took that off, started the car, and really just messed with things that the belt touches until I didn't hear the noise anymore. Where the noise was coming from, I figured it was either an idler pulley or the water pump. Idler pulley, hopefully not that hard to replace. Water pump, looked it up online, that was going to be a pain to replace. Right down in here, if we go sideways, is one and two, kind of hard to see, but two idler pulleys. I went to the local parts store, bought an idler pulley, they only had one. Went to a different local parts store, bought an idler pulley for the same price. They also only had one. So we have two different flavors of idler pulleys. They're the same part, the same size, but from two different manufacturers, we've got a nice assembled Canadian one with a bolt and dust shields installed. And while the other company, keep in mind for the same price, they gave me that. I know which store I'm going to from now on. The plan is to try and get those two idler pulleys out without having to take the alternator off. If it has to come off, not the end of the world, but hopefully just a couple bolts, belt, and we're done. Everything is back together. I should probably get this flashlight out of here. The belt is back on. All the accessories are hooked up. Let's start her up and hope the noise went away. If I can find the keys. Beep, 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 beep. There's a key in there. Nope. New belt, new pulleys, and it still makes the noise. So I'm going to grab a beer, change the oil, and think about this. Well, that was unfortunate. I've been doing a decent amount of tinkering, poking, prodding, taking things apart, putting things back together, trying to figure out what's wrong. A lot of signs point to a transmission issue Maybe the flex plate or torque, 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 torque. Maybe the flex plate or torque can, I can't find the keys. Hold on. I'm gonna find the keys to this car. Be right back. Story of my life. So, as we were saying, there's a good chance it is a transmission, torque converter, flywheel, plate issue. I do have a little bit of hope though. Maybe, just maybe, if we're very lucky, might have been the starter. Starter goes right into the bell housing, a little starter motor wheel gear 
maybe it's not popping down and maybe that's what I'm hearing grinding. I don't know, it's a Hail Mary. Let's see. The starter is in. Let's take a moment, maybe say a little prayer to whatever religious or non-religious deity you would say something to if you need some help. And uh, let's be real, we're leaving the front end on jack stands because it's gonna have to come apart again in five minutes. All right, Jeep, remember all the oil changes and all the fun we've had, all the car washes where you got the $12 wash and not the $6 wash. Oh, that's unique. Okay. Oh, haha. There's a plug that goes into the starter that I should probably plug in. Second try, or third try, I don't know. It's a try. Where's the keys? Okay. Fourth try. Keys, car, plugged in. The noise is not there right now. We're gonna have to drive around and do a couple starts because it has disappeared before. Check engine light. Yeah, there's a check engine light, but I did have a lot of stuff disconnected while I was starting the car up. So that's probably just some codes that need to be cleared from things like air sensors not being plugged in. Okay, keep the fingers crossed. Take her off the jack stands, take her for a ride. Oh, we might've gotten lucky. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Wait, no victory dance yet. I was just taking a picture of the three new check engine lights that just popped up. Roll the windows down so we can listen. So if you like what you see, or if you hate what you see, hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and come back for some more. But now, this girl, she's gonna get pampered. Oh yeah, good G, good G. something very bad. I thought I knew it was wrong with the Jeep, but I didn't. And I put parts on it that I did not need to put on it. So now it's time for the punishment beer. Mmm. Salty. Doesn't everybody like a good, salty, sour punishment beer? Well, in true Zero to Awesome fashion, I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna drink my disgusting punishment beer and think about the bad choices I've made. Delicious, delicious, bad choices. That was exciting. <laughs>